Dr. Frank, thank you so much for being here with us, especially during this thank you. recovery time. Um, how are you feeling, first of all? I'm in recovery. You know, I, I, even though I'm about seven days out without fever, I, I think my brain is expecting a much quicker recovery than my body is. Right. I'm so used to being an active person. And I have to say, um, I'm finding this from all the other people I know that went through the same thing. It's just a slow recovery. It doesn't mean that you actively have the virus, but it, obviously it caused inflammation and damage that really requires healing. So right. I'm trying to get as much activity as I can, but also resting. So let's start then from the very beginning. When, what were the first symptoms? How did you realize that you had um, COVID-19? I, I was working um, in the office the last few days as before they told everybody to kind of shut down. I think most doctor's offices and most businesses were kind of wrapping things up. And I was exhausted, I wasn't sleeping, I was stressed about real life stupid issues like staff and money and patients and all these things. Right. Um, but really, on that last day of work on that Thursday, I was like, I got hit by a wall of fatigue. And the next morning I woke up with 103.5 fever. So fever for me was really the first symptom. Um, and I think that's the most common diagnostic symptom of what people are seeing now. Um, I really waited to three, four, five days of super high fevers, headaches, body aches, chills, sweating, um, until all of a sudden that second wave came and I started coughing and having uh, breathing difficulties. And that's when I knew, that's when I knew I had COVID. Now this whole two stage process, no one really knew about back then. And I was still living under the assumption that I'm a healthy 50 year old active fit person. Like I'm, there's no issue here. So it was the fever, then the breathing was what you felt. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then yeah. what came after that for you? That's it. Just the terror. That was enough. <laughs> breathing, coughing, and fever. You know, I had 12 days straight fever. The first five days were up to 103.5, and then it was like 101 to 102. But it just didn't stop. It didn't relent. And I think out there, I get so many questions on social media about like, when do I need medical attention? And nothing else matters other than the breathing. The breathing is the only thing that matters in this. Whether you have sinusitis or bronchitis or just a cough or fever or chills or diarrhea, the, the symptoms don't matter other than the lung ones. And that's what we have to remember because we don't want to overburden our hospitals too. 